Isor Hyos Peres Banutian Inisunut Yerort Daralitsin Ore Hoskes Gurem Sezi Meriguyatsu Sichneru Don Ambionen Ser Meds Harerun Vesvos in strong support of HRES 296, which I introduced along with Representative Bill Rackus to recognize and commemorate the Armenian Genocide. This is a vote that I have fought for 19 years to cast. My wonderful colleagues Anna Eshu, Jackie Spear have fought far longer than I have. It is one that tens of thousands of my constituents, my Armenian American constituents, have waited decades to see. It is a moment that so many have worked and struggled and prayed for, a moment when the House of Representatives refused to be enlisted in the cause of genocide denial. I rise in strong support of this uh, resolution, House Resolution 296, which affirms the Armenian ge genocide. Uh, this is a historic day in the House of Representatives, and it's one that I've been waiting for for 27 years. 100 years ago, 1.5 million Armenians were killed in the Armenian Genocide. These are their names. George Tutunjian, Harutsun Minasian, Samuel Kadian, Dikran Karakashian. April 24th, 1915 is a day that lives in infamy in the hearts and minds of millions of Armenians worldwide. It's a day that I grew up understanding for my Armenian mother to be one of the darkest in history. Armenian women and children murdered in mass graves. Armenian leaders hung as examples to others. Armenians forced onto long death marches without food or water. There were 1.5 million Armenians killed in this genocide in 1915. Too often, tragically, the truth of this staggering crime has been denied. Today, let us clearly state the facts on the floor of this house to be etched forever into the congressional record. The barbarism committed against the Armenian people was a genocide. The United States of America should never be afraid to tell the truth. And yet, for too long, we did not recognize the Armenian genocide. That ends today. Mr. Speaker, the horrors of the Armenian Genocide can never, ever, ever be undone. Yet by acknowledging the suffering of these victims through the official recognition of the Armenian Genocide, we can ensure that at least future generations will never forget. The fact is many other countries have recognized this genocide. It is time for America to also recognize the truth. To deny genocide, on the other hand, is profane. It is, in the words of Elie Wiesel, a double killing. This vote to finally acknowledge the Armenian Genocide should have come sooner because of people in my district like Joseph Bipo Manjikian. When I met him, he was 104, but from his wheelchair, he told me about the many family members he lost in the genocide. Bipo passed away before he could see this day. He didn't forget them, and neither can we. An open letter to the Turkish people Today, I write to you on an issue of great importance to both our nations. It is on a subject that many of you, especially the younger generation, may know little about because it concerns a chapter of world history that your government has expended enormous efforts to conceal. They argue that Turkey is such a great ally that we should turn a blind eye to what happened last century. Earlier this month, Turkish forces shelled both to the left and the right of American military bases. American soldiers fled in unseemly haste. Great ally Turkey is. It is always the right time to recognize genocide, but it is particularly so today. For when we see the images of terrified Kurdish families in northern Syria, loading their possessions into cars or carts, and fleeing their homes headed to nowhere except away from Turkish bombs and marauding militias, how can we truly say the crimes of a century ago are in the past? We cannot. Silence on one genocide is silence on all genocides. And I stand here today to support HRS 296 to acknowledge the Armenian genocide by the United States of America. Astvaz Mer Saina Luse.
On this vote, the yeas are 405 and the nays are 11, with three answering present. The resolution is adopted.